The concept of extraterrestrial life has always been interesting to me, and especially in Nintendo games. I guess that's why I like Metroid so much, but I've always wanted to see it in The Legend of Zelda or Super Mario. Unfortunately, only Zelda games briefly touched the concept and really didn't do much with it, uh, but there was at least one Mario game that took it to the next level, and that game is Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. Now this game may have came out many years ago, earlier on, on the Nintendo DS hardware, but it's something that might be really relevant coming soon to future Mario games. Now before we start discussing all of these crazy things that might be happening very soon, we gotta talk about the general story. And I'm not gonna go in full depth because I talk about this a lot in many different videos, because I love Partners in Time. But pretty much the general story is that these aliens called the Sharubs are invading the Mushroom Kingdom, both Bowser's Castle and Peach's Castle, and they're trying to take over, but Peach happens to stop one of them, which ends up being Elder Shroob. She imprisons her into a crystal shard and spreads them across the land. The bros finally get them all together and not knowing that the Shroob is in there, so they accidentally release Elder Shroob. So after defeating the Princess Shroob, they have to also fight her older sister. The bros apparently win and seem to defeat every Shroob that there could possibly be, at least Princess Shroob and Elder Shroob, um, but some later storylines might tell otherwise. So with that all said and done, and the shrooms apparently wiped from the scene, we get to move on to the next game being Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, and this is where things start to get a little interesting. Later on in the game, you can explore anywhere with Mario & Luigi without needing Bowser at all. You can even go to Bowser's Castle, and underneath, deep beneath Bowser's Castle, you'll find something called the Preservation Chamber, and it says that access is restricted to members of the Bowser's Secret Society. We then find out later on in the Bowser Jr.'s Journey mode that the Secret Society only consists of Bowser and Bowser. Bowser Jr. Now for the bros to enter the chamber and find out what's inside, they have to go around Bowser's castle and find these signs that give a code off in order to open the door, and they'll have to hit these switches in the right order. Once they do so, they'll open the door and find something really interesting behind. Now once you're inside, you'll find a room full of ice, but it's not just any ice, it's called Ever Ice, and it does exactly what it says, it keeps things frozen forever. Well at least until you hit the switch, which apparently dethaws the ice. And look what we have here. The Shrooms, they're all encased in this Ever Ice, and Mario and Luigi just let apparently some of them go. But I have another theory which we'll get to in a second. But my question is, why does Bowser have the authority to keep all these aliens? Did he do it behind closed doors? Did no one give him this access and he just stole them and kept them in his basement? I don't know. Now I want to take a closer look at the background of this battle scene, because there is a room full of frozen shrooms. But if you look closely, it's not just regular shrooms um, that's mixed in here, there's also other ones. In the middle, that green shroob is the Junior Shrewboid, which is the very first boss battle in the game. And then you have Princess Shroob, which is to the left of him, and Elder Shroob, obviously right to the right. Now, something doesn't quite add up here, because I understand that there's still some leftover shrooms walking around the Mushroom Kingdom and they needed to be frozen over, but what about Princess Shroob, Elder Shroob, and the Shrewboid? How are they still alive? Because, if I'm not mistaken, Mario and Luigi completely vanished them from existence when they defeated them. I mean, Elder Shroob even went to a ghost form, and the bros even took that one out, so I don't understand how their bodily remains are still intact. Now I guess the only real argument you could have here is since the game happened in Partners in Time, a game about time travel, maybe they did some type of time travel manipulation and Bowser ended up finding them and freezing them over. That's the only thing I can think of, but regardless, time or not, they're still here and technically they're still alive. Okay, 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 so the bros released three shrews, big deal, everybody's still frozen, nothing else happened, they moved on with their lives. Not necessarily. In the side mode, Bowser Jr.'s Journey, Bowser Jr. is looking for this stuff called Ever Ice, and obviously it's here, the same place that Mario & Luigi was. And it actually does prove that it was after Mario & Luigi as the buttons already hit and the doors already unlocked, so the bros have already been through here. And what happens? The shrooms melt again right in front of Bowser Jr. and his crew and they are forced to fight them. Now note that this mode was just released only for the Nintendo 3DS version of the game and not for the original. So obviously Nintendo wants us to see this again, and it's more than just a little cameo in my opinion. And the fact that they threw him in for another battle for Bowser Jr. is fascinating, and it even goes further later on down the road. But the question is, how did they melt again? Did that one button end up melting everybody at once and it just takes a longer time for some in the back? I just don't know. And the fact that this in particular mission isn't a side quest makes me wonder even more. At the end of the game, Bowser Jr. tries to raid his dad's castle in order to get it back away from Fawful and his minions, but they run into the shrooms again, and this time there's a lot of them, and we're not in the Ever Ice Chamber. 
The fact that we're fighting them at Bowser's Castle still is very curious because we could be fighting them anywhere else and would kind of make this a little bit more difficult to unravel, but the fact that it's at Bowser's Castle is making me seem as if they're slowly starting to leave and starting to melt one by one. They are on the road to Bowser's Castle currently and they might be trying to make their way out. So I have one more thing I picked up on before I make a final verdict here. And this is the Fawful Guys. If you notice these enemies in the game, they've only appeared a couple times. There's dark versions within Peach's Castle, but besides that, you'll find them in Bowser's Castle if you go to backtrack and look for that Ever Ice and the Shrooms. But these Fawful Guys on the surface might just look like basic enemies. They're just Fawful Turn Shy Guys with basic attacks where he'll flip into you. But he does have one attack that is extremely weird and many people have been talking about it. There's one attack where a giant tongue will come in from the background, eat the Fawful Guy, turn him into an egg, and shoot him at the bros, all Yoshi's Island style. Now some people might just pass this up and say maybe it's just a Fawful turn Yoshi out there helping them out, but there's actually more to it, because take a listen. The sounds of the creatures are nearly identical, and if you think about it, they might be the same thing, the you. Now the Yub may be kind of weird to get inside Bowser's stomach because he's a giant creature, but the Yub was never that big. He got expanded thanks to the Shrub UFOs that helped him out. It's also worth noting that the tongues are almost identical with the little endpoint and everything. I know that the color is a little bit different, but that's just simply because this is the dark Fawful guy and it's probably like, you know, some weird dark Yub or something. But also inside the Yub's stomach was this creature called Sunnyside. Get it? Because he's an, he's an egg. Sunnyside egg. I hate Nintendo. But what he does is trap all the Yoshis in these eggs and chuck them at the bros. But if you notice is that the reticle is exactly the same, it sounds the same, and the eggs are almost exactly the same color. So maybe, just maybe, the Yub is out there running around causing havoc and getting ready for this Shroob uproar that's gonna happen. Who knows? So one other thing to look at is Superstar Saga got a remake, and so did Bowser's Inside Story right after it. But Partners in Time was skipped, which is actually the game right in the middle. They just skipped over and didn't give it a remake at all. Why is this? I don't know, and I don't know if maybe it just wasn't a game that they planned on revisiting, uh, but maybe they wanted to really tell the story of Fawful and get that out of the way before they really focused on the aliens and Shroob again. So perhaps the Shroobs are going to be freed one by one, super slowly, until they're all let loose. Princess Shroob, Elder Shroob, the Shrooboids, everybody, the whole crew, and eventually they'll be able to restart their plans. Maybe that's why it has taken so long for them to reappear, is because they've been getting things ready, they've been preparing. Did you notice how it took almost three whole games for Fawful to finally understand exactly what type of plan he wanted to initiate in order to take over? Maybe the Shroobs are doing the same thing. They're planning a mass invasion. Maybe they took some leftover UFOs or saucers and headed back home in order to plan and prepare for a mass invasion on the Mushroom Kingdom. They already have step one in phase. Half of the Shroobs have already broken out, and even the Yub appears to be out there walking around the Mushroom Kingdom currently. And maybe even Bowser had a plan initially to use the Shroobs to attack the Mushroom Kingdom. He saw how great of a threat they were to everybody, and saw that they could be one of the most craziest enemies that the Mario Brothers have ever faced, and that he could use them on his own arsenal. So he kept them frozen cryogenically in order to release them years later in a massive assault against the Mushroom Kingdom and the Mario Brothers. So maybe we'll still see a Partners in Time remake, maybe for the Switch, or a brand new Mario & Luigi game altogether, being the revival of the Shroob. Or maybe even they appear in a different type of Mario game, maybe in Mario Odyssey 2 where they appear, since Mario's already going to the moon, and in Galaxy he already went to space, so maybe some type of big 3D Mario game will involve the Shroobs as a main enemy. But now I must hand it off to you guys. What do you guys think? Could we possibly see the return of the Shroobs? Is there something more mischievous going on in the background? Let me know in the comments down below. And like always, thanks again for watching, guys. See you in the next one.